going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. So it's finally happening, we're starting our Pez 2013 Master League. We're going to be kicking off with the team that we choose. Obviously we talked to a few people who they'd like to see. And I've been going through a couple of different teams. So in the last episode lads, I did introduce Pez 2013 and I kind of did an overview of revisiting the series and we had a look at the edit mode and the option file and stuff that we were going to be using. So I'm hoping that you guys enjoy this kind of trip back down memory lane because yeah i'm really looking forward to playing pes 2013 i've just been playing around with a couple of settings i've been playing around with a couple of uh, uh tricks and skills and practicing some stuff so i don't completely embarrass myself but we want this to be a challenge lads we want this to be a really hard master league series um and I, as i said we were we were looking at different teams that we could pick we were looking at different teams that we might actually play with um and obviously with the option file this is as i've said in the last episode we are playing with a PS5 pad wirelessly connected by Bluetooth. You, anyone can do it. We're playing on the PS3. It's over there over my left shoulder. We're playing on our original PES 2013 disc edition with an updated option file from the PES 2012 or uh, from the 2012 to 2013 season for PES 2013. So we've got everything. We've got all the squads from back then. We've got Van Persie back at Arsenal. We've got Egbon Lahore and Darren Bent at Aston Villa. We have got um pato at ac milan we have got schneider at inter milan we've got buffon we've got pirlo we've got marquisio we've got all of these boys giovinco obviously um we've got all these boys at juventus we've got every squad pretty much up to scratch on where we would want it to be um and there's a couple of free agents knocking about as well so yeah a lot of people were kind of asking me who i was going to pick and i asked you guys in the comments to let me know who you thought i could pick as well obviously a lot of people were saying barca and real madrid but i just think that they'd be too strong man i think they'd be too good um and we did kind of decide that we were going to want to play in the premier league at least for the first season um and see how the series went um because yeah there's a lot of teams in the premier league that i want to kind of want to revisit and have a look at them when we're playing against them um and i think we've got a lot of grudge matches you know you've got arsenal you've got chelsea you've got city coming up from fresh from their early success you've got a liverpool team that are a little bit down in the dumps that are that are uh, just about to kind of pop off back again with a couple of key signings you've got city um so i did want to kind of think about it and i was thinking as a united fan do i want to start with manchester united and I think they're the teams that I kept coming back to because I was looking at their squad, as I said in the last episode. We do have a very good nucleus here, right? So we've got De Gea, who's 21, but Ferdinand's 33. Uh, Johnny, El Johnny Evans is, is good, but he's only 75 overall. Raphael is good, but he's only 81 overall. Everest 31 and coming to the end of his. Carrick is fine, probably needs an update. Um, Skulls, Giggs, Valencia... All of these players are fairly high rated, but, you know, within different areas of their career, well back up front with Rooney. Um, we've got Lindegaard, we've got Vidic, we've got Chris Smalling. Like, I have a nice nucleus here of young talent that I could progress up while also getting rid of a couple of players and buying actually, you know, like buying proper players instead of Bebe and Makeda. Like buying players that I can actually, you know, like just put into the team straight away as like direct replacements for eventually skulls and gigs because straight away here if i'm playing a 442 i want to play a dmf at the back and then i want to play you know a dmf a cmf and i want to play an amf as a tree up front and then i want to play two wingers so i'm probably going to need to buy a couple a lot of players for united while still having enough to get me through the first season so we are going to start with united it is going to be a very very difficult one i would reckon but we are going to start in here we're going to pick our manager we're going to go through it from the start lads um with the master league we're going to start a brand new master league we're going to be picking the the club default we are going to be playing on superstar i could regret that <laughs> because i haven't played pez 2013 in a long long time and obviously we are going to be playing 10 minute matches as well that is it we're going to make our manager we're going to design our manager we're going to have a chat the board are having a chat here now and saying look you won't find a better manager than Bubba Buddy. His record speaks for itself. He's just about ready to, you know, tactical news, everything. He's a shrewd spender. I wouldn't say I'm a shrewd spender because you're going to be seeing the players that I buy now. But I do think I am the right man for the job, right? So Bubba Buddy is going to start his career um, as best as he possibly can. But we are going to take a couple of risks, lads. We are going to take a couple of risks. Now, I'm going to tell you that because... 
at the end of the day, right, I want to have fun with this series. But I want to kind of get, like, players that I think United should have got before. Or players that are on the fringes of other teams or maybe youngsters. And have a mix between young and players that I always love to play. So the likes of Ronaldinho, the likes of Adriano, the likes of Alexandro Pato, um, Shevchenko. Players like that that I can bring into the squad. Can I do a sample? That might work. Because Bubba, I need a bit of tan. This might do. Yeah, this might do. He's just back from a week in Tenerife, so he is going to have a little bit of a sun-kissed tan. And we're going to give him nice little hair. No, this would be a bit too... This would be a bit too taken to pissy now, wouldn't it? We'll give him this. We'll give him the glasses. Yeah, that looks very respectable now. That looks very respectable. Maybe a bit more hair on top. No, that's too much hair on top. Yeah, that looks very respectable now. I think. Yeah, I'm happy with that, lads. Will you go to designer shades? No, we'll leave him white. I'm very, very happy with that. That'll start us off. Jeez, he's been hitting the gym, lads. He looks massive. His head looks very small. So we are going to be starting with Manchester United, lads. They are the team that I am going to be picking. Um, yeah, so we are going to be starting with United. They were actually licensed in the game. And there's a lot of players that I can kind of wheel and deal here. So I'm really looking forward to that. And obviously trying to rebuild the squad in my image or in Bubba Body's image. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of very similar to what Pez 2021 was when they brought back all the cutscenes and stuff. Mr. Bubba Body, it's a pleasure to meet you. You too. I am your secretary at this club. and we be glad to provide you with any necessary assistance. Lovely stuff. And yeah. Are you ready? I am. We have a conference to hold. If you would kindly follow me to the press room. No problem at all. That's my job. That's what I do. And I'm telling you lads, Bubba looks very respectable. Very respectable. That could change throughout the course of the season, but... Yeah, he's saying all the right things. He is saying all the right things. Um, you know, all the cookie cutter kind of responses, the PR, jargon, all that sort of stuff. He's the thumbs up for the media, for the fans. And uh, all the blogs are talking about him, why he's going to fail, top 10 reasons he's going to succeed, top 10 reasons he's going to fail, top 10 girlfriends he's had in the past. Would you mind addressing our players? They're all dying to hear from you. All right, Bob is going to have to put down the marker now. He's going to have to lay it down. No messing. He's just going to say, out with the out with the rot, in with the fresh wood. Simple as that. Great sides. Never compromise when going for wins. That's the spirit I hope to instill in all of you. You got that? very passive aggressive but that's what Bubba is all about as we do have a check of our finances here right so our sponsor list we've got 10 million 5 million and 4 million and then we have obviously got for next season uh the same that's already been agreed expected earnings then as well our current so our team salary and our staff salary is 93 and 20 respectively so i don't have any earnings earned here yet so effectively i'll be able to spend maybe 100 million without being in the in, being in the rough general settings we are going to be playing on superstar normal 10 minute matches and uh we can go from there but yeah the items there were to pop up in the items that you're able to buy the stuff in the shop with the gp you could see lads there, there was a lot of foundation for this stuff back in the day you know they didn't just pull it out of the pull it out of um, their hats but you can buy all these sort of stuff here increase form by one you could buy this for 200 gp increase the ability by three and this was something that I don't think a lot of people realized back then of kind of the direction that they were going. And then obviously these are all your boots and stuff that you can have. Um, so, you know, a lot of my players will have these boots already, which gives them a boost to their shot accuracy, their swerve. And this could be a problem from our stamina, lads. Makeda picked up an injury out for a week. No problem. I required a pair of boots as well. Lads. Oh, look at this. Top speed, evil speed. But if we do go into negotiations, lads, let's see who's on the U team. Because they're cup. Harty! He's back! Harty is back! Lads, 100%. I'm not even going to ask you. I'm not even going to ask you, will I sign him? He's signed. And he's coming into the squad. Carlington. I never got on with Carlington. Richard Harty, lads, is back in the squad. Can you believe it? 22, 19 years of age. <sighs> I'm going to boost him up to the absolute max because Harty is my favorite. One of my favorite, him and Steen, Mini Raikin, are my two favorite default players ever. The mind Castolo, Menanda. Look, this is what we're talking about here. Where's my mic gun? Look at this. Steen, can you see that? Can you see that? 
No. Funny fact. Funny fact. Steen, who's on the back of my jersey, is Richard Harty's father, right? It's been proven. It's up on Ant- Ancestry, one of those DNA sites. It's been proven. Harty is the son of the classic legend, Steen. Okay? So he's going to be signing up. I'm going to give him a chance. I'm going to give him a new pair of boots and treat him as if he's my own. Because Bubba Buddy has a soft spot for Steen. They have shared a lot of uh, dressing rooms together. We could be very interested. Laz Ronaldinho is on the list. And if that means what I think it means, it says it should be relatively e- easy to sign. Oh, my days. Can I please get Ronaldinho, lads? Please. I'm going to add him to favourites. Tony Cruz, I could get him before he starts to pop off as well. Drogba, Benzema. Oof, Benzema. Imagine Benzema ta- ben- taking Benz away. Sammy Eto'o. I'll put him on the favourites. So these are all the players that I can get pretty easily. Deco would be a nice player to buy as well. Emmanuelson, uh, Petrov, um, Cringe, Maxi Rodriguez. I could get Fanny, lads. Do you want to see me get Fanny? That is the question I have for you. He looks very, very, very good. Very good. Fanny looks very, very, very good. Let's see his stats. 82 dribble accuracy, 83 top speed. Very decent, lads. Very decent. Could get him. Let me know. My favorite, One of my favorite players of all time. I'm going to add him to favorites. I don't think we'll get him. An offer we make is likely to be snubbed. I think I'd have to pay seriously over the odds for him, lads. But he was one of my favorite players. Richard Harty has joined up with the squad. That's what I like to hear, lads. New arrivals. Harty, no, there's a bit of weight in his shoulders. I'll be honest. There's a bit of weight in his shoulders. He's only 19, of course. But I think we're going to have to give him a pair of boots. We're going to have to give him a pair of boots. Okay, I still have time to do a few transfers after I play the Chelsea game. So I'm not too... Payment day. Oh, I have to be careful of that. I have to be careful of that, haven't I? I'm going to skip on ahead, lads. I'm going to skip on ahead. The 2012 to 2013 season. We're going to be rewriting history. Man, I just love, I love PES 2013. Like, I just love it. I'm hoping the gameplay holds up a little bit better. All right, let's, here we go. Our first game. We're at the bridge, Stamford Bridge. The crowd are going crazy. You can hear them in the background going mad. Mad for, mad for action, mad for blood. And this is going to be a litmus test now for this squad. Because if this squad don't start producing the goods, the I'm going to be ruthless. Season, I'm going to just cut and really limit down who I'm going to be playing. Um, you know, we've got a couple of older statesmen in the club, in the team. John Terry is playing DMF for Chelsea. Crazy. Um, but they've got an incredible team. Juan Mata as well, obviously, is playing for, for Chelsea. David Luiz is still there. Petr Cech. Um, Terry looks quite decent. The players look quite good, lads, for a game that's nearly 10 years old. Look at Evra. I mean, the game leaves a lot to be determined, but Evra looks quite good. So that is the squad that they have. And uh, they've got Josh McEtron in, in, in the middle of the park with Raul Morelish. They've got Lukaku, Hazard, and Wamata up front. Rooney looks like a bodybuilder. He's having a chat with Giggs now and just saying, listen, we need to stick it into John Terry today. There's the squad we've gone with, lads. De Gea, Ferdinand, Johnny L, Evans, Raphael, Evra as our back four. Carrick deep sitting. Giggs and Ashley Young on the wings. Scolzi and Anderson in the middle of the park. And we've got Waza up front. Weza Waza Rooney up front. Yeah, this is going to be a tough game. We're going to have to concentrate for a minute, lads, and uh, see how we do it. But yeah, any look at Giggs. He's pumping the legs. Any, uh, any feedback or any suggestions of how I should improve if I lose this game? Massively appreciated. I'm just going to keep, keep defensive at the back. Could be a boring game, but if we get a chance, we'll take it. John Terry's just playing as a... Anderson is sniffing. David Luiz. David Luiz is playing on the right. Got it. Ever don't get caught now, Ever. The tricky hazard. Look at, it. Look at the AI, lads. I can't touch the ball. Oh, brilliant tackle. Johnny Evans. First bit of possession for United. Bubba Buddy's on the bench. Saying to the boys, get the ball up to Waza. Waza Rooney. Ashley Young, lovely cut back. Overlap. Overlap. Beautiful. Go off the pitch if you need to. Ashley Young. Swing it in. Oh. Dropping. Oh. 
Everett. Everyone's having a good game, even though he's down form, he's still hung over. Ashley Young. Ashley Young, overlap. And again, that's a lovely ball. Ashley Young, cut it in, Rooney. Oh, come on, Rooney, make the run. You'll be out in the rear, Ashley Young. Ferdinand, oh, it's a bad tackle. Scores, he's back there, he's got the pace on Lukaku. Dangerous ball across the box. Oh, we can't be making mistakes like that. We can't be making mistakes like that. Brilliant save from De Gea. Well on, Evra. Well on, Evra. Brilliant from Evra. With no support up front. They're going to have to bring Carrick in. It's the pass. Rooney. Rooney. Carrick. Giggsy. Have a pop. Oof. Man, they still have that same animation in eFootball 22. Feature. Oh no, this is dangerous. Oh, Penno! I, I overdid it. Hazard with the tricky feet. And Johnny Evans gets a yellow. It was my own fault, lads. Genuinely, it was my own fault. I blame myself there. Shocking. No need to do it at all. Ah, that was a brilliant deft touch from him, though. Oh, man. I wanted to get a good clean sheet to this match. You can miss it, though. Oh no, I'm after moving. What a save, David De Gea! What a save! <laughs> First game in about 10 years playing PES 2013 though lads, so be, be gentle with me. But yeah, we need to up the, 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 the shots on target and everything else is fine. Oh, the ball worked out. What a pass. Rooney, first chance of the day. Rooney! Oh, crossbar! Oh lads, that would have been unbelievable. What a pass, trending through the needle. Through, right through the gap. And Rooney did everything right, just didn't have the finesse. Come on, Giggsy. Ever read that all the way? Read it like a book. No, it's going back. It's going back. It's going back. Oh, that's a super ball. What a goal, man. Seriously. What a goal. Didn't even see that. One matter. You're definitely not getting signed now, one matter. I would have considered it, but no. You just broke my heart in the first opening day of the season. Scores is nice. Great ball. Ah, too, too, too soft, lads. Too soft. Long ball sweat. Long ball spam. Oh, Rooney. Oh, need that blister and pace, lads. This is tough. A long Carrick. Ball doesn't bounce to me though. Bounces now. No, it still doesn't. Johnny Evans, last ditch tackle. It's a great ball. Valencia. Need to pick the pass here to Rooney. Ah, oh, come on, Valencia. I know you're down, but Jesus, give me something, man. Give me something. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, I'm getting screwed here. Tackle though. Chicorito. Rooney. Rooney. Boom! Rooney! He's rescued a point at the end. I went for placement there, lads. One little chance. That's all we needed with the Waza. And look what it means to Rooney, by The veins are bursting out his neck. Oh, we deserved it, though, lads. Genuinely. Didn't we deserve it? No, be honest. Even my harshest critics, even the harshest critics of Bubba would say we deserved it. Brilliant pass here, I think it was Giggsy. Beats the offside trap. And from here, we've got the pace to just slot it home. What a finish from Rooney. Gets us off. And he's going to be a huge part of this Master League, lads, is Rooney. What a beast. Look what it means. Rafael is out celebrating by himself. He's after letting rip and stinking the place out of it. So he's staying far away from the team. But um, an Arsenal win 1-0. So a couple of shocks coming on there. Wigan are top of the list at the moment, top of the board. No gate receipts for the away matches, obviously, and I get El Tegre as a nickname. So we're happy with that. We will be back, lads. We'll see if Ronaldinho is there any update in the negotiations for that. We've got four or five days left in the negotiation window. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about it, what you guys think about this series so far. 
if I'm playing good, if I'm playing bad, if I need to do more, if I'm not passing enough, if I'm not shooting enough, um, what players I need to sign, yeah, let me know. Go wild in the comments below, lads. I'll be back quite soon with episode two of our Master League, PES 2013 Master League with Manchester United. Um, yeah, we don't have any update yet on, I don't think, on uh, Ronaldinho. We're still making contact with him, but... To be honest, lads, we do need to make a move now if we are going to be making a couple of contracts because it takes a few days to do it and we might run out of time. So let me know in the comments below. I'll talk to you later. Peace.